Hello everyone and welcome to the city of Guerrero. I will be your narrator on this journey along with my somewhat unqualified colleague Bruce who brought his girlfriend along for the ride. Well Bruce, do your thing. I can't stop you. Hi, welcome to the Mercado de Antijitos in the city of Uruapan in the state of Michoacan in Mexico. Join Carol and me as we explore foodways and folkways in hidden Mexico. You'll notice the beautiful woman in the background throwing chocolate between cups. Mm. This is a Mexican tradition used to pass the time. At this fair you will see many people making food and eating food and playing with food and uh, children crying. Basically all you ever need is at this fair. Oh, I like this market. Look at the salsa. That's beautiful. The mocajete like that. Yeah. And all the cheeses piled up. Yeah, and look at the dried, uh, what do they call that? Cecina. Cecina, right, yeah. right. Or machaca. Yeah. yeah. That was good. You know, this is a nice, clean eating place. Yeah, that is. Look at their Buenos white hats they're wearing. I wonder why they wear those white knitted caps. It's got to be traditional. Well, unless there's a local ordinance about it, but it's probably traditional. Yeah. Well, I like this one a lot. In fact, it makes me kind of hungry. Oh, look at the color of that salsa. I've never oh. seen that color before. No, I haven't either. Oh, boy. It's got to go with the chiles today, don't you think? Cor corundas. Corundas. The stuff we ate yesterday. Well, they all look like wonderful dishes, but where do they come from? For now, I'll take you to a pyramid in Mexico where my friend Doris is making some cups. She is a wonderful pottery lady that makes things for all of Mexico. We won't show you the whole thing because it gets rather boring, but I want you to see the gist of it. She puts some water on the pot to allow it to shape a little easier. While she takes the two sides of the chulupa, it becomes a fingerable substance, and she will finger it ever so gently. Well, maybe not so gently, before tying a ribbon around and having a finished work. Smile for the camera, won't you, Doris? That a girl. And there's her finished cup. And now we take you out of the pyramid and into the most famous soup kitchen in Mexico. Here you will find ladies working tirelessly day and night to create wonderful things for you. Right now, you can see a woman rolling tortilla. They will make this into a ball and surround it with corn leaves like in a hot tamale. There is always tapping and beating going on in this kitchen, but the good kind. Now, will Bruce ever want to eat any of this stuff? I'm going to show you why he's not and why I should have been the one on this trip and not him. As soon as these ladies finish with their work, let's see what Bruce is up to. We're gonna taste the atole, yeah. which is uh, is like a like a corn. In this case, it's a corn. It's a corn drink. Uh huh. Le pone leche a atole o es sin leche? It's just. It's pure with with corn. Yeah. The way to do it is you you. Clearly, Bruce doesn't like it. This is sugar. This yeah. is black sugar. Piloncillo. Uh huh. It's cane sugar. You're supposed to. Oh, let's put it yeah, you take it, not me. Oh, I got a great surprise for you. Oh, yeah? This is one of the best dishes in Guerrero, yeah, what, in what? Tasco. What? It's called humiles. I'm going to show it to you. You're going to have it one in your hand. See that? My God, it's alive. Wait, these are bugs. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, we can't eat these. Again, Bruce saying that he can't eat it. What a surprise. Well, we're going to make him eat it anyway. Uh, well, they did. So, this is them mashing the salsa. That's it. That's the way. That's it. From that, we eat it. 
Okay. Still complaining to the. Uh, could you get out of the shot, please? Uh, lady, you're you're in the you're in the shot. We don't. We're trying to film a documentary here. Ex excuse me. So here it is. He's still complaining to the bitter end, but he did eat it. I think his expression says it all, ladies and gentlemen.